Hello, this is Kunal Raja with uh, WCI Consulting. Today we'll cover the new functions of SAP Business Objects 4.2. First, we will cover um, geographical mappings, creating a new geographical map that's a new functionality to SAP Business Objects 4.2. For today, for this um, video, we're going to use the eFashion Universe. And right here, we're just going to bring in some of the objects. So we'll use here. Go to store and use state, city, store name, and all our measures and bring in a measure of sales revenue. We'll go to run this. All right, and this is how your data should look like uh, with the query that you created. We'll go ahead and delete this table. And I just want my state my city, and my store name. And I also want my sales revenue as well. And I will go and I can go up here and I and bring in a map function or I can actually turn this table into a map, a geographical map. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click right here and say turn into click on more transformations and if you're familiar with business objects you know that if you have more transformations you can select tables you can select bar charts box columns line map pie but what is new to business objects 4.2 as we mentioned is geographic so geographic can create a map you could do a geo chloroplath chart a geographical bubble chart or geo pie chart using a map. So we're going to use a bubble chart today. And it says map key item. Now you'll notice this is all grayed out. And bear with me for a second. This is probably going to show you how you can get that to work for you. But I'm going to choose my map, map item value as sales revenue. And I'm going to go ahead and click apply. And you'll notice here the map failed. And that's OK because this is a new functionality, so you need to learn how to, to create it. So if you hover over the X, I'll tell you this chart does not contain a geo ball by dimension objects. So you're going to think to yourself, how do I create my state, my city, and my store names as geo ball by dimension objects? Well, actually, if you go hover and right click on state, you can click edit as a geography. So go ahead and click that. And then on the level, just click the down level and select region. So region will then actually take your state names that, that's in your table and provide what they think the location is. And for Florida, it's given two choices. So we'll put that drop down and give you the suggestions. And you can actually select, select Florida, United States. Go ahead and select that and click apply. And there you go. For state, you've got latitude, longitude, and name. Well, we're going to do the same thing for city. And in this function on the level, you'll select city. And with city, again, you go and take a look at the list, and you'll see that they have the cities that they believe are 100% correct. Well. There are two cities here that you can choose from. So for Los Angeles, you have Los Angeles, Chile. But for our purposes, we're going to choose Los Angeles, United States. And for San Francisco, we're also going to choose San Francisco, United States. And we'll click Apply. Click OK. And then I notice you've got the, the city right here. We'll do the same exact function for store name. And we'll do Edit this Geography. We're going to again select city because all the stores are within cities. Now obviously because there are store names at eFashion Austin, eFashion Boston, Newbury, they'll come up as errors, but you can actually select the cities of what will be the most likely. So eFashion Austin will choose Austin, eFashion Boston, Newbury will take Boston, Chicago, the third will take Chicago, Colorado Springs will take Colorado Springs, Dallas, We'll take Dallas, Houston, Houston, again Houston, 
Los Angeles, Miami, New York, and New York, San Francisco, and Washington. And we'll click apply. And there you go. Your map has, if you look at your map, it now has all the states. Well, let's go ahead and delete this map. Again. And let's bring it again back in. State, city, store name, and sales revenue. Let's right click on it and it will do turn into more transformations. And under geographic, let's do a geo pie chart and we'll use state. And let's actually assign data to it. Let's make this city. Well, let's try another map function. And click on more transformations. And now take a look at your map. Your map now has every city and how much of that particular city has the most amount of sales revenue. And so this is how you can do a map function. You can also create a drill down for it. So if I were to go to report element analysis, and let's do a drill. And let's do state. Let's do city, and then let's do store name, and let's bring in year as well. So if I just want to look at only Texas, I can, and it will give me all the cities in Texas. If I just want to look at any city in particular, so if I just do New York, it'll only give me New York. And if I just want the store of New York tip, it'll give me that only. And for year function, you can select what year you want to filter by. So this is, a, again, it's a new function for the SAP Business Topics 4.2. This is how you can create a geographical map using your objects that you have within your database.